R. Dub Bergen here. Hey, Dan. Hey, this this video is kind of lighthearted. Um, I just out here in the backyard with the dogs. D a w g dog. <laughs> anyway, um, I live in uh, the neighborhood I live in here in Kansas City North is <laughs> a. Uh, um, it was built in the mid fifties and they have a, uh, and they, uh, they planted a bunch of hickories and oaks and, and stuff when they, when they built these, these houses. So we got a lot of squirrels and, uh, <laughs> I, uh, something I've noticed because I grew up hunting squirrel and rabbit and, you know, as you could probably tell, um, I like camouflage and i like to hunt and fish and raise hell and drink beer and you know I'm, I'm i'm like a renaissance redneck and you know got me a little college just remind y'all frontline healthcare worker first responder all that good stuff anyway something i've noticed is the squirrels in my neighborhood are a lot smaller than than they used to be you know when uh when we first moved in here i uh i got me one of them ruger fancy pellet rifles and i was dropping red squirrels left and right and uh you know and for y'all for you city folks you ain't lived till you've had you some good fried squirrel with some mashed potatoes and you make some gravy out of the squirrel drippings God almighty Lord, have mercy. It's some, some fine eating, some fine eating. Maybe some biscuits on the side to sop up that squirrel gravy. <laughs> oh, I get chills thinking about it, by God. Anyway, I think even though we have like this old growth hobbit forest in my neighborhood, I'm thinking that, uh, I, I'm thinking that the reason that the squirrels are so small is because there's so damn many of them that there's not enough food to go around. 